Good day everyone and welcome to the lecture series in differential equations. So we have differential equations. So a differential equation is an equation which connects the derivatives of an unknown function to the variables in which the function is defined, which may include the function itself. So examples of differential equations are, so we have dy over dx equals x squared over y. Also, we have dy over dx equals uh, negative 0 0.075 y cube or we may have e squared y over dx squared minus 3 dy over dx plus 4y equals zero so these are examples of a differential equation let's have this kind of differential equation so we have fxy dy over dx plus g of xy equals zero Differential equations of these forms is what we call the first order first order differential equations. Since the order of this equation is one uh, take note that the order means that uh, the highest derivative of the differential equation so in this case the highest order of the derivative for this equation is one so take note of this so the order equals one so next we have the solution of a differential equation so solution of a differential equation now a function uh, y or f is said to be a solution of a differential equation if it satisfies the differential equation for all values of x in the domain Suppose we have a function y of x, this y of x is said to be a solution of a differential equation if it satisfies the differential equation for all values. Of x in the domain let us take this example so suppose we have y equals c1 sine 2x plus c2 cosine 2x So let us check if this y is a solution to the differential equation y double prime plus y equals or 4y equals 0. So by definition of a solution of a differential equation, 
we need to check if this y satisfies the differential equation. Now, to check, let us take first the derivative of y. So the first derivative. So we will have 2c1 cosine 2x and then the second term we have minus 2c2 sine 2x and then after that let us take the second derivative so the second derivative would be minus 4c1 sine 2x minus 4 c2 cosine 2x so we have a second derivative and we also have y which is our function so let us now substitute the given values so we have y double prime plus 4y so this is equal to minus 4c1 sine 2x minus 4c2 cosine 2x and then we have plus 4 and then we have the function y so we have c1 sine 2x plus c2 cosine 2x so if we manipulate this expression the value would be 0 so let us check so we have minus 4c1 sine 2x minus 4c2 cosine 2x and then this will become 4c1 sine 2x plus 4c2 cosine 2x so equals 0 so this must be implies so as we can see we have like terms so this will cancel also this one so we get 0 equals 0 so the function y satisfies our differential equation in the next lecture I'll discuss uh, some methods on how to find a solution to a given differential equations